Oh, g'day everybody, I'm under the bridge by the Macquarie River on Durham Street or the Great Western Highway. Just thought I'd give a bit of a bit of a cast in here on the last weekend of the season, just to see if there's anything still biting. I'm using a spinner at the moment. Just letting it flick through the water, let the sun catch it a little bit. You can see it's a pretty cool looking thing. I've only ever caught redfin in here, in this river, so we'll see if anything else comes out of it. walk across the bridge. Thought I'd um, come over this side because it can actually walk down further from this side of the, of the river. So I'm slowly walking up in the water this little bit of a uh, bit of downhill river here to see if there's anything coming down. Unfortunately, my boots are no longer waterproof. They're a bit old and that water is extremely cold. I'm just using a very light duke head with a little one and a half inch banana shock colored curl tail grub. It's still a little bit too heavy for this water unfortunately, but it is the lightest jig head that I've got. So just have to work it a bit better here. I'm trying to keep it from actually hitting the water and just sinking straight and staying on the bottom if I can. So I'm just working it back kind of quickly, but lots of twitches to try to keep it from sinking too quick to the bottom. I'll slowly walk my way up through there to the main part of the river up here. Right in the middle, perfect. Oops, I found a little rock by the looks of things. Unfortunately, there are a few little rocks in the bottom here, and if it does sink too low, too quick, there's a good chance it's going to get caught on one of these river stones or river rocks. Uh, the hook still looks good, and I'll continue. I thought I'd actually grabbed a, sna uh, a, a fish then, so I quickly hit the record button. But looks like it was just a bit of bit of crap. Look, I caught some crap. A bit of stick or something, let's say. Right 
right in over the edge there and got him caught and out again oh caught myself some weed hey little buddy come here and I'll set you free there you go off you go mate you're out of here bit of a narrow casting area but um I'm trying to slowly walk up stream without causing too much of a bow wave in front of me don't want to alert anything that might actually be in here that I'm here The next fishing video you see will probably be at either Oberon or Bathurst Dam or maybe one other dam somewhere in the area. This is a lot, second last day that I can actually fish in this river. I may even stop on the way back home to Oberon and um, hit up Mutton Falls again on the last ditch effort to pull out another trout and just see what happens. The, the usual story is uh, everything was working until people started watching I used to catch quite a few fish and then I started recording it and now I catch almost nothing just trying to be a bit careful because you can see my shadow has just appeared on the water here I'm trying to not let it get too far ahead of me like Peter Pan to stitch my shadow back on otherwise it might escape who knows what sort of trouble my shadow could cause could be the new shadow minister for stupidity I'd have to move up a little bit further again so I can pick up another stone yep Though this water's shallow enough for me to walk through, but deep enough to maybe hide some fishes. Some fishes! Like I might have picked up a bit of, a bit more crap. There you go Bathurst Council, I'm doing your job for you, I'm cleaning out the river. On cue, the wind picks up. I've hit a slightly more open, deeper patch. The reason I'm over here is there's a great big divide just here, as you can see behind me, where I've just walked up from all the way up through there. And the water going through here wasn't moving anywhere near as fast as the water on the other side. So I came over this side to walk up the slightly slower, but still quickly moving water to see if there are any trout facing upstream waiting for a feed, which doesn't appear to be. Bit of a shame, but I know they are mostly moving on to some spawner waters. But come October, I'll be back in here again and hopefully I'll be able to hit up the first weekend of the trout season and might be something exciting then. Might go for a kayak ride in a couple of days and see if that brings any joy in Oberon Dam maybe. Now my shadow's across the water here, you can see, so I'm doing, not going to be fishing directly here. Too much shadow be fishing up ahead again as I've been trying to do but the water isn't moving very much in this section so there isn't really an upstream or a downstream it's just a stream not even that mm. 
I'm going to imagine what the people up on the bridge are thinking as they drive past. Look down and see some crazy bastards standing in the river. It'd be nice standing here in summer though. This water would be quite lovely to be standing in then. You can see I'm making a little bit of a wave unfortunately, then hopefully that doesn't spook anything off. I think I'll fish all the way up to where it stops just there. Then I might fish from dry land for a little bit, let my feet dry off. I'll walk up a little bit more, create a bit more wave that I can't avoid. Looks like I've picked up something here, probably a redfin. Uh, yes, that is in fact what it is. It's a redfin. Okay, little buddy. Guess who's um whose unlucky day this is. Let's get over to the side. I'll put him back in the water while I'm moving over here. It's gotta be humane at least, with my disposal. All right, little mate. Very sorry, bad news for you, buddy, but uh, today is definitely not your lucky day. So, as you can see, one red fin. You can see that alright. Very beautiful red little fins on them. The red fin perch, English perch. A pest species in New South Wales waters. I suppose one on the board, red fin's better than no fin. Love to see a trout though, that'd be beautiful, but I don't know how many trouts actually would occupy this water here to be honest. And that wind's picking up again. Guess it's not a total zero day for a change. Usually if you see one red fin, there's usually more, but occasionally they just chill by themselves. Well, oh, and he got off. <laughs> Second red fin, he got off. Almost had him hooked then. 
Oh, we'll just keep going. So that shows there is more than one redfin in here. And they're pretty stupid fish, so pretty sure they'll come back for more. They don't usually tell their mates. Maybe I'll put a bit of trout oil on it and see if I can get a bit more attention. Preferably without dropping my rod in the water. just on my fingers or on my finger so I'm using the strike tiger trout oil just the plain one I'm not using the UV glow in the darky type one at the moment because you know it's not dark and the water isn't that murky it's actually fairly good I had to check my little banana lure then you slip down a wee bit and all right. Let's see how that goes. Uh, he's still swimming pretty good, so that's the main thing. So I'm basically just casting up there and bringing it back down through this water. But I'm trying to swap sides from left to right every so often to cover a little bit of water, a little bit of different spot, and make it a bit more attractive. I don't think you guys can see on the camera how well that banana sw swims with his little tail. I might even cast back a bit that way to where I've come from and see if anything's decided to make an appearance down there. something will strike them but it might just be tapping some rocks at the bottom here comes the wind again thankfully I got my back towards it this time so it shouldn't be affecting the sound quality Looks like that other red fin's done a scarper. He's buggered off somewhere where he feels a bit safer, maybe. I might have to turn around and keep walking up a bit further. Start from this side instead. battery for the GoPro in the car so I'm gonna have to stop filming here but I'm gonna keep fishing though um, for a bit longer the car's a bit far to walk back to get the battery for so I'll just have to uh, go without for a bit all right thanks for joining me I'll see you next time